What's up, guys? Today, it's Musquiz here, like always. Um, today I'm gonna be doing uh, a Mr. Slash Rain system, and uh, basically, this is the exact same design as the Robert 346 uses. So, uh, go check out his channel. Once again, that's the Robert 346. Uh, he's got a couple of cool critters, one of which I've never actually seen before, so I think that's nice. It's actually really nice gecko. But anyway, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get scissors or a box cutter. If you use scissors, you're going to need a box cutter anyway. Nozzle for the this thing. Uh, one fourth inch uh, tubing and Exoterra Reptiflow 200, or you could use something like it. Uh, details on this bad boy. Uh, all right a bin. You can use whatever you want, but a top would be nice. Uh, you don't need to use the top, but for the top, you want to take your scissors, split them like that, stick it, push it in, and twist it. And do that twice. And then cut it out like that, so that you get that little look. And then take the box cutter and, you know, like, Go along the edges on the inside and the outside. Take off any excess so that's kind of smooth. See, it's not really a lot. It's a lot of stuff that I had in it. And then you want to uh, put the tubing on the Reptifo wide nozzle. And of course, put it in near the bottom. So you have it like that. And then I'm going to attach the nozzle real quick. <laughs> Alright, so I'm getting the nozzle it's adjustable right there. Really nice. Cost me like two fifty at Menards. It's like a Northern Home Depot. But you guys know I just moved. See, I got it in a package of two by Rainbird. It's called the oh poop adjustable Mister. So now what we're gonna want to do is take a poop. Alright, so let's see how we can do this. I, I'm using a phone right now. Forgot to bring a camera, but I never use a camera anyway. So I'm gonna put this over just like that. You see now I'm gonna slip them in real quick. So now that I've slipped them into the slots, that's what it was used for. See, an extra terror thing. Put that out just a little bit. And then, what you'll do is you'll take this mister and put it in your cage. So, like, let's just say your cage is a pillow. You put it into the cage. Alright, I'm going to do a quick test on this later, and I'll upload that, so, see ya.
Hey, what's up, guys? So, as you can see, I have the uh, Mister that I just created filled up. Sorry, so it looks like it's kind of submerged, which is okay. It's supposed to be. And we see the nozzle. Oh, toothpick. Oh crap. So, anyway. So if you keep turning it, it turns on and off. Remember, this is not a like. This does not shoot very hard mist. It's not going to uh, miss the entire cage. You may need to set it up with a T bar for getting it like two or three times. That would get the cage complete. This is, I guess. Probably not the best version you can make, but it's pretty cheap. I mean, 16 bucks for the uh, Exoterra thing, two bucks for the the cord, one buck for this, and uh, two bucks for this. So it's like what, ten bucks, twelve bucks. It's not very expensive when you think about it. That's better than. I mean, you could probably buy a little bit more and uh, you know make more of them like more uh, nozzles so it would get the entire cage but this is just what I have made be for my friend's crested gecko by the way so uh, let's get it plugged in I'm gonna get a lot of crap plug it in, plugged in right now Alright, so, see it turned on? Man. We have the mist. Or drip. Probably close to rain. But, it does make quite a bit. So I've, I only had it on for about 10 seconds before this. So, made releases a lot of water. But, like I said, you probably need a couple of these. And it doesn't get very far. See, if I turn it back and turn it back on, it will off, on. Overall, it's. I wouldn't doubt it. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.